What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to carry on where we left off, we are attacking a Russian force in my Estonian port. Um, because we need to start getting offensive against these Russians, particularly once we start attacking Finland. So without further ado, let's crack on. It's going to be a nice small offensive battle. Uh, both the episode and the recording session actually, because this is my first session of the day. So that should be interesting to see how far I get. In lieu of not really being able to go places and do it's quite a small force, they've got a, a lot of militia units, so let's take some gun teams up to here, then we'll deploy them. And then let's on this right wing, let's put out some grenadiers near the guns to cover them in case they get attacked. Let's anchor that with a nice, a nice block of line infantry. And then, to be honest, one set of guns might just stay back here. My mortars are probably just going to deploy. My howitzers are probably just going to deploy, deploy in place. Because this flank is going to be another line of line infantry. Who will advance up? My blunderbuss shotgunners are going to advance on the right, and that's going to be that. I've got no cavalry as such, so let's get ready to deploy. I hear, the, I hear their guns firing, I hear our guns firing. Yep. They too have quick line. Most of them to route. Eh, I don't fear these Cossacks. They charge into a unit of line of tree. They will probably deal with them. No, you shouldn't have been limbered. These guys need to need to be ready to massacre out of these pikemen. There's a limber with, lim, limber with shrapnel shot. Who's that on the flank? Some Republican guards. Let's stretch these line units out to maximise their firepower. Let's advance up these guys to go threaten the rear. Most of them to rout. Mon General. Let's advance him up. To be honest, the rest of these guys get them to go in and hit this militia because right now the re the battle seems to be unfolding fairly rap pretty rapidly. I 
set the grenadiers to go over here and chase these men down. Just massacre them for a little bit more, just to make sure they shatter. And then let's make them fill up this really small gap. One new line. Really funky deployment, but I think it's what's needed because these guys can't really shoot over the bridge. Well, now they can. They can actually hit the Republican Guard. when the rest of my infantry get into position these guys will get mowed down this unit infantry is untouched this massive amounts of overkill against this particular unit <laughs> first foot guards no less Up to provide fire on the general's bodyguard, but I suspect uh, they will die fairly rapidly. It's this Russian general. I mean, I mean, I'll bump these guys into square, but yeah, I thought so. They're confident. Now they're wavering. I doubt we'll probably kill the general. We're going to shoot the hell out of him, but he is just going to rout before I get him, I think. These pikemen are coming back. Are these guys are going to provide fire onto the pikes. They are indeed, when they finished reloading. Grenadier guards out of it, considering there's not many of them left. There you go, chase down the pikemen. At least a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good enough for that, considering um, it's too much. Yeah, not bad. So they fall oh. back, and then let's. If I drop my guns, I can Waiting get them. None shall defeat us. Forward for crown and country. Let's bring them back to Palmu. Can these guys leave Corland? They can leave Corland safely. Let's advance them up to here. Build you into a church school, because I'm starting to get into Russian territory. Can you guys leave Vilnius? You can indeed. So you start to push up to this gap. The army at Vilnius. Probably want to head up to here too. Eli Bell, you're also going to move up towards St. Petersburg. Currently at peace with Sweden, uh, for now. Ready for order. These guys are still replenishing because I've, I've got to be ready just to just to attack over the over this piece of land here, over this bridge here. Once I've blockaded their navy, I do need to repair all the good work in 
in Copenhagen. Okie dokie, so you're still on the march. Yes. You're rebalancing down to the south. So you'd start funneling more armies down here. Can I move you guys out of... Well, I don't want to move you guys out of Dynvoisko, because this guy's on the march. Sir. Um, let's engage this small army here in the port. Because these are one of the move around or or um, amalgamate into new armies. Sit there as fragments until you drive them into the sea. But we've absolutely got them on the back foot. Ooh, and this is a lovely position. Okay, so my artillery might... My artillery might just stay here. Firing round shot, which isn't as not as effective and not, well, not as effective as I would like, but and you guys also stay here. Let's provide our a native African infantry line position. Put a bit of guys out on this flank. This is the flank I want to push. you guys deployed like that there you go don't want them to get taken out by quick climb then also my household cavalry here light infantry can probably sk skirmish through the town general in the center cool Dropping quick climb too. Let's place my light infantry on this section of the ridge. I may get them to place stakes over here. Oh, I might actually just get them just a position ready to shoot their general. No, oh. Okay. Help. May as well get you guys to charge as well. Because otherwise they'll just run into you. No, you stay on the march. Ignore what's going on for a little bit. You intercept that unit of cavalry that's on the way. Play stakes. Hmm, that might not be so good. Now I'm going to catch my light infantry on the hop. And not kill as many of my troops as I'd, as they, as I'd like. Hmm, fortunately, my cavalry have chased a routing enemy the direction we want them to. This funky terrain position has somewhat influenced our plans. Just so I don't mow down as many of my own men. And it's also advanced my light infantry down. Mm. 
Pennsylvania, of course, Cavalry's ran into a Republican Guards unit of all the units. So let's knock my Cavalry around to the flank. Ready? Nope, doesn't matter. We've routed anyway. Engaging the artillery. Okay, cavalry's come back. Hit them with my cavalry. Here they are going to catch some of my men on the hop. But they're also going to crash straight into a unit of square formation troops. Retarget my. Retarget my um, artillery. Try to take out their general. You're at the very extreme of your range, I'm not so sure about you. But I know they would not stand to my household cavalry. And if you run this way, you'll run into the stakes. Taking out their general. Be wary of this unit of stakes and this unit of stakes and this. Okay, maybe I don't want to run my cavalry around too much. Running into the fusiliers. on that unit of foot line you guys halt firing and instead redeploy like so yeah come on where's mon general let's make him do something useful go secure the the more defended positions. I doubt it will be long before this infantry unit routes. That's the end of that. I want to continue and then my general can do a straight run because he won't he shouldn't hit these spikes, or these spikes. These guys will I'll use to actually firstly halt all my artillery fire. And you run around that cavalry defence. Could you chase down the unit of fusiliers? These guys continue their persecution of this unit of line infantry, and you. Okay, no, don't do that. I can see you immediately running in this direction. Oh, my general died. How'd that happen? Oh, there's some hidden stakes in the trees. Oh well. 
See, this is the thing where, surprisingly, uh, I was originally a bit unhappy, well, not unhappy with it, but I was ju I just kind of, okay, their pathfinding is going to be funny. Um, I was originally a bit meh about with um, Napoleon, is that you've got a limited amount of generals, but the fact you've got a limited amount of actual generals is you, you kind of remember them and you care about them. Whereas in this game, they just you can just pick them up and put them down at the drop of a hat. And it really makes you, well, makes me anyway less interested about keeping them alive. Unless I've got a, a particularly good one. But, damn, you end up recruiting them so thick and fast that it's very, you very quickly begin to, they begin to lose their personality, I think. Everyone's going to engage this line of infantry unit because they're probably going to escape because they've split up so damn effectively. I'm not going to bother to to micro because they'll probably these guys will probably get away first, so I may as well just um, run them around like this in a big clump. Yeah, exactly. But I'll take it. African support units, my African infantry units, and I'm a they're not as good as regular lines, so I'm not expecting as good of a trade. Oh no. Forward. They ran the complete Forward. wrong way. I can break them up and chase them up. Chase them down. Huzzah! Huzzah! To eliminate them completely, then bring and them back forward. and spend some money to reinforce. Reinforce. And let's pick up a new general. Stuart Busby. You are now replenished. Um, but actually, I think I'm going to move this guy. Because I've got so many units coming. Hmm. So many armies coming in from the east. I can divert. When well, I've got so many attacking up north, I can. Yeah, let's bring you down here. Let's bring you to start moving along this road up to Afghanistan. Because George is okay. Another church school to make you happy. Yes. Everyone else yes, in this sir. area is... Well, you can move up to engage, but you're going to resupply for a bit. Because I want... I need to really start moving up a lot of my troops. Yes, you're ready to engage them if they get close. You are, are one of my backup armies, so really... Uh, this chap, Roger Adley, um, he is the sort of guy that I'd want to attack these rear areas. Because they're not going to likely be heavily defended. Okay, you're just a big garrison army, so I'm not going to... Disband. Let's just merge some of these guys together. Band. Cool. In the Americas, I'm still. This guy's still marching up, and he needs to be very defensive um, because we're against a whole bunch of African Native American tribes. Nice. So you captured Texas. Huron are going to Sally. I very much like defending against the Native Americans because you're forcing them to come to you. In which case your superior firepower does most of the work for you. Okie dokie. So let's hit in turn and see what the response is to this mess and all the other yeah, all the other armies I've not actually moved yet. Get the Savoy moving up because we now have a border with them. And the Russians are yeah, <laughs> scrambling, absolutely scrambling. And to be honest, they should be suffering from a lot of uh, bankruptcy morale penalties 
in many of their territories because right now their army is massive and they do not have the way any they do not have the capacity to actually support those armies in the field no way jose so i'd like to think they're suffering from some quite big economic problems i would like to think anyway you know, the gentlemen are desperately scrambling back to to a school any school So the Russians. God, this is gonna, that's gonna be a real tough nut to crack. Is Finland? Oh, okay. They ran through a gap, so one of those armies will. Ooh, no. Uh oh. <sighs> Moscow is ripe for the taking. Opportunity to intercept. Let's see where you go with this. Mainly because I don't want Moscow is very weak. I don't want them to be too. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have. Fine, tax free. What did you break? The only place you have jobs. Yes. Nice one. Okay, so you've run around. You're interested in trying to take Riga. So let's take. What have you got? A couple of howitzers, a couple of, bit, couple of bits of units. Sir. If I pull these guys back, yes. and these guys back. And then probably do a bit of... A bit of shuffling around just to make my main units a bit stronger. If it means I have to sacrifice some units, then so be it. We'll have one weak unit of Grenadiers, for example, and two full units. Three full units. I'm trying to match up experience wherever I can. There you go. That's not bad. And already your replenishment demand is... Has changed massively, in which case so, Leslie Oliver can move up and hit and secure Narva. Yes, Gareth sir. Rackham can then move up and hit King Sip. You move up from the Forward. south. Ready. You move in from the, the east. Your humble you get into Smolensk. Sir. You run around At the red. this army up into this space. You're replenished. See, you're replenished. Yes, sir. You're fairly replenished. But I'm still gonna. Okay, actually, I'll carry on with this stuff for a minute. Good. Don Wisco has walls. Now you've immediately hunkered down. Ah, he's never going to get him, really. Good. Starting to convert more people to our religion. And then... Yeah, people are being upgraded. You are also being upgraded. Cool. It'd be f absolutely faster just to start ferrying some of these armies across. So, go to Odessa. My Woodrow, you are going to provide... Actually, you go to... Go there. Disembark the army. Good. March south. Because down here I'll need the most support. Oh, I don't know. Some more armies from the north might be handy. Sir. 
but that's where you're going. You're moving up to take Afghanistan. Let's build a church school. Let's build an economic building. Oh, I forgot to repair all of your stuff. Let's replenish the army and let's build... Well, when I can, I'll build some stuff. You actually wait here. Because if this Savoy army is going to march up to try attack us, then we will fire... Well, then we can just wait and replenish ourselves. Workers have rioted there, but they're okay now. They're striking in Persia. But what if I do that? Because I don't need the money. Okie dokie, so I... I I really do need to take out this fleet because this would be this is a strategic thing for me. But I would like to repair my fleet before I do so. Made it detected, but that's okay. Let's take this army and engage Anton Kokarev. Because I've got to start clearing out these smaller stuff. Oh, I might just do that. Because if it's sometimes it's knocking out these smaller armies, are just going to take much more time than they need to. But one thing I am going to do is run around to the west. Ah, I wanted to run around to the west. Um, they've intercepted me, which is no no problem. I was going to attack both of them anyway. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States.